China's Little Red Book. Quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, 1964. There are a handful of books that have influenced hundreds of millions of people's lives over the decades, centuries, and millennium of human existence. Mao's Little Red Book, or quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, was one of these. It was a book of political and cultural statements based on the speeches, writing, and thoughts of China's communist leader, Chairman Mao Zedong. Mao was the Chinese revolutionary leader who, after leading a long armed struggle, helped found the People's Republic of China in 1949. His book, Quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, which became commonly known as the Little Red Book, was the idea of General Lin Biao. Compiled by the staff of the People's Liberation Army Daily, it was first published in 1964. The book helped promote even further the personality cult that surrounded Mao and his own brand of communism that became collectively known as Maoism. The book would be printed by the hundreds of millions and it got its name from the fact that it had a vivid red cover and was pocket size. The idea was for the party's faithful to carry it around with them constantly so it was always ready at hand for them to consult and inspire. The book's slogan was, Workers of the World Unite, and at one stage in China during what was called the Cultural Revolution, it was almost mandatory to carry around a copy. The Chinese Cultural Revolution ran from 1966 to 1976 and was pioneered by Chairman Mao. Its aim was to rid communist China once and for all of the devils of capitalism and imperialist Chinese traditions. The final version of the Little Red Book contained 267 quotations covering 25 topics such as war and peace, unity, discipline, women, criticism and self-criticism, imperialism, and correcting mistaken ideas. One section was on how to be a good communist and citizen, stating a communist must be selfless with the interests of the masses at heart. He was to possess a largeness of mind as well as a practical, far-sighted mindset. Another stressed how everyone was involved. Intellectuals, students, soldiers, and the average peasant were to involve themselves in political work and study Marxism and Leninism. It was at first only distributed among top officials in order to get feedback. Then an expanded version was given out to the People's Liberation Army. Finally, a year later in 1965, hundreds of print shops were set up across China and it was made available to the masses. Because it was a simplified version of Mao's writings, the Little Red Book helped the peasants and workers understand Mao's ideas, therefore helping the widespread indoctrination of Mao's cult of personality and communist ideology. The authorities expected all loyal citizens to own a copy, and not only to carry it around at all times, but to actively read it on a daily basis for inspiration and guidance in all aspects of everyday life. Disrespecting or misquoting the book could get you in trouble. After that, it was actively promoted in communist countries, but when Chinese and Soviet relations started to turn sour during the 1960s, the book was banned in the Soviet Union. After Mao's death in 1976, his successors tried to discourage the book and its Maoist teaching. 